Chill out, bitch, real. You know what time it is. So, all right. We're gonna get it in with the Hebrew tonight. Uh, the Hebrew. Shema Yasha Ali Yahawah Allah Hayanawah Yahawah Akai. Which means here, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. 
we want to stand the water. All right, so we're going to start like we normally do with the Rashwan uh, Kodash. Rashwan Kodash means the uh, holy tongue. All right, Rashwan Kodash means holy tongue. And we're going to start with the alphabet of the holy tongue. All right, let me finish sharing it around. We're going to start with the, with the alphabet of the holy tongue. Okay. Is Abagada Hawa Ta Hawa Za Ka Ta Ya Ka La Mana I Za Pa Ta Za Kwa Ra Sha Ta Ta. I'm about to write it down in the Hebrew. Let me finish sharing this everything. Sharing it to where it needs to be shared. Make sure you hit that share button, share it to, uh, you know, Israelite group, uh, Israelite Facebook pages, uh, ancient black Facebook page, uh, pages about that type of stuff, you know, so they can see the Hebrew written. Ancient Hebrew goes as such. Starts first of all from right to left. So we start on the right side. Ah, ba, ga, da, ha, wa, za, ka, ta. Ya, ka, la, ma, na, sa, ai, ha, za, kwa, ra, sha, da. All right, this is the uh, Lashwan Kodash right here. Break it down a little bit. Okay, this is the Lashwan Kodash. Okay. Ah, la, ga. That's why we call it lost sheep. You understand? The metaphor is because our language sounds like how sheep talk. But they were like, ah, ma, ga. That's Hebrew, it sounds like that. So, you know, for real to call us a sheep, that's it's similar to how we sound, how we talk, and how we move. You know, a lot of nations have like an animal that they spiritually connect, spiritually connected with. You know what I'm saying? The, uh, the oppressor, he's spiritually connected to a snake. You understand? Know By the way he moves, he's a low down, dirty bastard. So, he, he licks up the dust of the ground. He eats off the dust of the ground. Off of being low down. And dust. And lying and cheating still. Uh, la. Ma, na, sa, I, pa, taza, kwa, ra, sha, and ba. What you see in there is the Hebrew alphabet, the Lashon Padash. Let me get the uh, there we go. Hey, Shalom, Officer Kamal. Uh, Kamal. Okay.
So this is the beginning of the, of the alphabet right here. This is where it all begins. That's where it all begins right here. That's where the magic happens. Okay. So you want to get that down. Now we're about to get into some scriptures. Okay, it's just an A. Good thing I checked. It. Make sure. Uh, five. Five. And is Y. Y. Seven is. I think seven. Here we go. Shabai. Akaba Shabai. Ezekiel one and seven. Okay. Now, Ezekiel one and seven, let's read it in the English. Thank you. 
Ezekiel 1 to 7. And their feet were straight feet, and the sole of their feet was, was like the sole of a calf's foot, and they sparkled like the color of burnished brass. So this is a scripture that's talking about the color of the angels. Okay. At the end where it said they sparkled like burnished brass, brass, that's talking about their skin, their skin tone. His skin tone was brown, like a, like a shiny brown. Okay, picture a brother who got lots of oil and Vaseline on him. That's the skin tone of the angels that he's seen in this vision. That's the color of the skin tone that they he's seeing. Trying to make sure we get it close enough to see everything. Alright. So so start was and their feet. Alright. And starts with why. So, so you can imagine, you already know that. And their feet starts off by saying and their feet. Okay, so and their feet. Start writing a little smaller. Alright, so I'm going to rewrite this but smaller. I'm going to use this little man. So you can fit the whole, the whole man, the whole uh, chapter, the whole chapter of one. Or at least I'll try. Okay, so there it is Ezekiel. Ezekiel 1 and 7. Start there. Ezekiel's Yaka Zakwa. So it's Ya Ka Yaka Zak. Yakazakwa Allah Yakazakwa Allah. All right, that's Ezekiel in the Hebrew. Yakazakwa Allah. All right, Yakazakwa Allah. Now, how do you write that in this uh, in the ancient? Ya ka. Za Kwa Ala Yakaza Kwa Ala Yakaza Kwa Ala Yakaza Kwa Ala that's the ancient. So let's get any Assyrian. Assyrian is, all right, let's get the Assyrian. I'm not the best with the Assyrian. I'm really, I'm gonna be writing a lot. Ya. Ka. Yeah, 
Isaac is here. Isaac and then the I. Then a lot. Yah and Zach were out. All right, I have to zoom in for you. Really get close up. Let's see. Wish you didn't have that glare. All right, there we go. Yah and Zach were out. That's in the English, the, the Hebrew, the ancient, Assyri ancient Hebrew, and then Assyrian Hebrew. Alright. Now, let's get one, the letter one. Okay. Let me make this more space because they're kind of far, big letters. A big, they're older numbers. One and Seven. One is a cop. A cop. A cop. Sorry. A cop. That's one. A cop is one. I just said Kai and that's ancient. Uh Kha and a da Kha. And that's connected. Kha. Okay, so now let's get it in the Assyrian. Here and the da is here. God, this is more blocky. This is uh, uh, and seven. So the, the, the card is the, the chapter, chapter one. And it's an and symbol for and. And is spelled out as a Y. So one and seven. So this is a Y. Y. It's and. So, Yakazako Allah, Akad, Wa. Wa is one letter, the letter Wa, myself. Down here, the Wa is uh, here. So, Wa. Now, verse 7, this is chapter 1, verse 7, 7, okay, in Spanish is siete, in Hebrew is Shabbat, 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 Wa Shabbat.
Shabbat. And Shabbat in the, in the Hebrew, you just start with a Sha and a Ba. Alright? And then the letter I. I. Shabbat. 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 And once you get to the ancient Hebrew, Shab and a Ba is Shabbat, and a I is Shabbat. Ya kaza al, ya kaza kwa al, ya kaza kwa al, ya kaza kwa al, a wa shabai. And this is not a ka, it's a kha, a kha. Ya kaza kwa al, a kha wa shabai. Wa shabai. Ezekiel 1 and 7. Now let's get to the uh, rest of it, or the actual first part. And their feet. So that's the first sentence. It's and their feet. All right. So let's say we got and. Their feet and their feet. Okay? That's all one word in Hebrew. Alright, what is that word? Wa ra ga. Yakon, Waragalia, Waragalia. All right, Ragalia is foot soldier. This is Waragalia, which is and their feet. Waragalia. So, Wa, you know, that's for and Wa. Ra Galia Hum. Why you go? Yeah, hum. Why are you Galia Hum? Why are you Galia Hum? Get rid of that dots. I don't think you need those dots. Maybe just for Y, because Y means and. Rebellion, I think, is, is the feet, and Yahum is theirs, making it theirs. Y, Rebellion, Y. Ragal Yah. Wa Ragal Yah. Alright. Wa is and, Ragalia is feet, and the Yahum at the end of uh, the hum at the end is their feet, making it plural. Okay, so that's a three part word. Let me see if I can differentiate it real quick. Wa, regalia, and hum. Wa, regalia, hum. And their feet. And their feet. Or and feet there. You know, and their feet. Wa, regalia, hum. Okay? Wa, regalia, hum. Hold on a second. Mm 
Okay. La regalia help. So let's get it in the ancient. The ancient is starting from this way, going that way. It's the opposite of English. Wa. And then a ra. Wa ra. Wa ra. Gal. So ga. Wa ra gal. La, la regal, ya, and then a ha, and then a ma, ra ya gal ya, alright, ra ya, wa ra gal ya, wa ra gal ya, ha, ra ya ra gal ya. So the wa means and, regalia means feet, and the hum at the end is there, showing that it's, uh, it's a plural. And I think also that means uh, possessive, like it's their feet. It's just not any feet, it's their feet. That's what the hum means, the hum stands for. It's theirs. Okay, so let's spell that in the ancient. The Siri, so it'd be Sha, then a Ra, Ra, Ga, or Ga, La, Ya, and then a Ha. And then ma at the end is definitely different. It's pretty circular like that. Maragalia. Maragalia. And their feet. Uh. Alright, the next word is feet. And their feet. Feet. Straight. Alright? Feet. Well, let's just go to the next word, word by word. Next word is feet. 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 Feet is regal. Regal. Like I said earlier, Regalia is foot soldier. That's my brother in law's name. Regalia. So that's how I definitely know what that means. Now, I'm studying the Hebrew is Ra, Ga, La, Regal. Spell that in the ancient is Ra. Gal and the la or gal. Their feet straight. So it says, and their feet, feet straight. So it says, so it says, and their feet, feet straight. Next word is straight. Feet, feet straight. Yashara. Straight means Yashara. Yashara. Alright, straight means Yashara. Yashara. That's how you say straight in the Hebrew. 
né? Que na escala é de A Chá No Ra And a Ha Cause of that H at the end Ya Sha Ra Ya Sha Ra Okay Ya Sha Ra I spell that in the ancient with the Ya Sha A Ra here And then a Ha at the end Ha is here Yashara. Alright, Yashara. Your feet straight. And soul. And soul. Now, this ain't the soul as like your soul in your spirit. It's the soul as in the foot of your the base of your foot. The soul of your foot. And soul. It's all one word. And soul is one word. Okay? That one word is Wa Kataza. Wa Kataza. Alright? Not to be mixed with Kataza. Kataza. There's a brother in the school named Captain Kataza. It's a Kha. And that means arrow. Soul, Kataza, is means soul of your foot. Wa Katazai. Wa Katazai. Let's put the little red dot in this one because it's two words. Wa Katazai. Alright. Wa Katazai. Alright, which means and soul. Let's get that in the, in the uh, Hebrew. Wa ka tiza. That's it. Wa ka tiza. Wa ka tiza. Get that in the end. In fact, let me scoot it over a little bit so it looks more center. Wow, well, cut this out. Now in the Syrian. Oh, maybe in green. In the Syrian, this Oh, that's a fucking. That's a damn shot. See, y'all supposed to say something in the comment section. Oh, uh, that ain't no block. You ain't paying attention. You're supposed to catch that. That was a shot. The wow, it was like this. Wow, kataza. I had a shot, kataza. Shakataza. What that means. So, wow. Wow, ka. And I'm using the uh, the the cheat sheet that has all the Hebrew on it, uh, no, you know. So you, you guys should get one of those as well. You get those from your camp leader, okay? We come to class in person, and you can have it here. Katazai at the end is like this. Black katazai. All right. This is more looking like a knot. Nah, it's like that three-ish looking thing. This just goes straight down. Wow, that's the side. Let's see. Wow, that's the There you go. Wow, that's the side. All right, and their, and their soul, their feet. So what it's trying to say is their feet were like the, their, were like the feet uh, were like straight feet. That's what it's saying. That's why it repeats feet twice. It says, and their feet, feet straight. And soul, their feet. 
next word is their feet. You gotta, you gotta remember, it, uh, Hebrew is not like English, where you say every word and it goes together like English. No, these words are, are uh, put together, but then they're implied how they say it. Okay, so like to say, uh, uh, bring, bring much water. The way I'm saying bring and much and water is you can tell I'm saying bring it to me. Bring much water. As opposed to if I were to say bring uh bring what bring much water. But as opposed to if I say it like that, like bring much water, it kind of sounds like I'm saying you didn't you didn't bring much water. It's implied by how you say it. That's how Hebrew is. So it's kind of saying the same thing again, but it's implied how it's being said, what's it saying? All right, so it's a little, it's a little confusing, but it's kind of it's, it's real spiritual language. It's real, you know, gotta get the feel of it and everything. It's not like English where it's real robotic or nothing like that. Their feet. So it's their feet again, but not and their feet. So this is a good learning lesson right here. And so their feet. And sold their feet. So it's talking about the soul of their feet. How you say their feet is regalia hum. Regalia hum. Regalia hum. Alright. I put the red dot in there, it signifies two words put together. Regalia hum. You say that in the uh, ancient is Ra Ga Ragal Ya Hum Ra Gal Ya Hum Ragal Ya Hum All right, Ragal Ya Hum. After after regalia, regalia hum is in the Hebrews ra ga la ya regalia hum. Ma at the end is like a circular thing. All right, regalia hum is like as a side. Regalia. All right. Regalia is feet, and hum is their, their feet. And it says light soul. Okay. Uh, if you was in the earlier classes. You would, you would get what is like, how do you say like in the Hebrew? It's the letter, it's the letter Ka. So it says, and the soul of the, and their feet were straight. And the soul of their feet, like the soul, and it's going to say, of a, of a calf, of a bull, of a calf, of a cow. All right? That's so all this is saying, is the feet were like, the feet were straight feet, like the feet of a cat, of a calf, where it had them two toes. Okay, and like ninja feet, ninja shoes. Okay, with the going down the center between the toe. Okay. Uh, like soul. Soul. Uh we have is kataza, but this one is kaka. Kaka. So it's a different, different feet, different soul. So this is ka, then ka, kaka. Uh, 
the cup. Let's write, let's write that in the Hebrew. It's ka, the cup, and the pa. So two cars and a pa. Let's get that in the ain't in the Syrian. Ka, ka, and a pa at the end is at the end is here. Like this. Ka. -ka. Alright, kaka. Alright, so you definitely, you know, screenshot this because I'm about to erase it all to, so we can get to the rest of the sentence. Alright. Okay. Get to the rest of the sentence. Then we'll even know. This is as far as we can fit on the board for now. All right. Ezekiel 1 and 7. And their feet were like the straight feet. Or their feet were straight feet. And the sole of their feet were like the sole, it's about to say, of a calf. And their feet, like the soul, is about to say, of a bull calf. Okay? So let's erase this, get ready for to get the next, the, the rest of the sentence of this uh, slide, of the scripture. So the next part is, is after kaka, which is their soul, it says their feet, it says feet, bull, calf. So feet, feet, all right, feet. Feet is regal. So we did that already. We did that work multiple times for God. So you should have a clue now what regal means. Feet. It means feet. Regalia is foot soldier. Let's get it in the Hebrew. Regal. Regal. Next, we're going to write it in the Assyrian. It's Ra Ga La Ga. Next is Bull Calf. Her feet was like the Bull Calf, like a calf. Okay? I go. I go. I go. I go. I go. Can you spell that? It's I and go and a lot. I go. I go. It's calf. Bull calf. Alright. They spell it in Assyrian. Is I and 
God and Allah. I go. That's how you spell it in Assyrian. I go. And they sparkled. That's the next set of words. And they sparkled. And they sparkled. Let's talk about the angels sparkled. So they, you know, the angels sparkle. They don't. They don't have skin like human skin. They got skin, a different type of skin, and their skin sparkles. All right, like like you got certain animals that that are shiny, like the fish. You got fish scales, and the fish scales are shiny. Their skin is shiny, like fish scales, but not scaly. It's like skin, but it's like the human skin that's like oiled up, but sparkling. Right, it's different. It's just a different type of skin. But it sparkles. That's the best way to define, to define it. So how you say the, the and they sparkled is wana taza tazayam. Wana taza tazayam. Right, keep the book near me so I can write this one. Waz and taza 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 is like the sparkle. Taza taza. And young is they. Alright? So, I need to write it cool. Tazah, another Tazah, when I have Tazah Tazah, yeah, Tazah Tazah, all right, so Tazah Tazah is sparkle, sounds like it's saying sparkle, Tazah Tazah, it's sparkle. So why is and na taza taza is sparkle and young it is they na taza taza is sparkle. Let's write this stuff in the Hebrew. Why na taza that's how you, that's how you say and sparkles and they sparkled in Hebrew. Okay. Ancient. This is ancient scripture. Ancient way to write. Okay. Wa na tsa tsa wa na tsa tsa ya ma and ma at the end is here. Alright, wa na tsa tsa ya. That's and they sparkle. Next is like color. Like color. Like color. Now we went over what like. I think we said it there. I said it earlier. We're going to go over like. To say something is like something, you just add a ka to the front of it. Ka. Whatever word is, whatever word come after the ka in the front, it means it's saying like that. So if I wanted to say like a, a, a bull calf, I'll say ka I go. If I want to say like feet, I say ka I go. If I want to say like they sparkled, uh, uh, like 
and they sparkle now say ka wa za za yo. Or if I just want to say like sparkle, I say ka nataza taza yo. Nataza nataza taza. All right. So like color. That's why I just love Hebrew. It don't sound nothing like no damn white man's language. It sounds so such, such a black, you know, like earthy, you know, people of the people of the Lord language. It don't sound like, you know, that's why they hate the Hebrew when they switched it up and made it Yish to add some some of their German into it. But Hebrew doesn't sound nothing like these other languages, like the white man's language. You can kind of tell this what type of people speak like this or spoke this language, you know. Not to say that they didn't start out speaking like this, but they sure as hell changed. Okay, when not to za to za, when to za to za, that's sparkle. The band sparkle. Why not to za to za? That's sparkle. Now we're trying to say like color is ka ayun, ka ayun, ayun, ayun is color. Light color is kayun. 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 Let's get how to spell that in ancient. Ka. I. Ya. Nun. Ka. I. Ya. Ka. I. Ya. Alright, let's get in the Assyrian. Ka I Ya and the Na at the end, you can see the long place right there. Ka-ay-yuh. Let's see if you can see it better. Let's just load it down from there. Ka-ay-yuh. It's like, if I get the damn thing up there. Ka-ay-yuh. Next is uh, brass. So the color that they sparkled was brass. Like color, brass. They sparkled like color, brass. Brass is brown. So there's a shiny brown. Kind of like my tan, but this picture is a shiny. Okay. I say brass is na ha. Nacha sha. Nacha sha. Nacha sha. Nacha sha is brass. Let's get it in the Hebrew. It's nacha sha. The nacha sha. Nakasha. Alright. Let's do the Assyrian. Na ka sha. Nakasha. Na tha at the end is here. Nakasha. Shot. Uh, really Syrian brings you back. Uh, burnished. Now, we may say burnished brass in English, but in, in Hebrew, the adjective comes after the noun or whatever or whatever. The burnished is the adjective, brass is the noun, so it's like Spanish. So it says brass burnished, not burnished brass. Burnished is a way to describe what it's like, what type of brass it is. 
You got dark brass, light brass, uh, burnt brass, burnished brass, you know, mixed brass, brass, those things. So that's what you're dealing with when you say burnish. Burnish is Kuala, 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 Kuala. As I say, burnish in Hebrew. That's how you spell it in Hebrew. Kuala. Kuala. All right, and this Syria. Say the rest of Ezekiel 1 and 7. Feet, bull calf, and they sparkled like color, brass burnished. So, how you say it in English is, and their feet were like the bull calf or calf's feet, and they sparkled like burnished brass. That's what you would say in the, in the Hebrew. I mean, in the, in the English. But in the Hebrew, we say, Regal, Idal, Wana, Tazatazayim. Kai Ayan, Nahasha, Kuala, Kuala. Alright, let's do it again. Regal, I go. So, like, Regal, I go. Wa, na, tazatazay. Kai Ayan, Nahasha, Kuala. That's how you say it. You might punch it, you know what I mean? You gotta force it. You know, you gotta put some lump in it. When you read, when you're doing that Hebrew, you gotta put some ump in it. Regal, I go. Wa na tzatzayu. Wa na tzatzayu. Na tzatzay. Yom. Ka yom na kashwa na kashwa kolal. All right. So it's perfect. What you just read or heard was the ending of Ezekiel chapter one, verse seven. And if you, if you watch it back, we grind it. If you just now tuning in, we did the beginning of Ezekiel 1 and 7. Okay? So let me read. Uh, let me read some of Ezekiel 1 and 7. Let's read what we have got. Ezekiel 1 and 7. So. Uh, and their feet were like the. Uh, let me read. It. I'm gonna read it in English, then I'm gonna read it in the Hebrew. Ezekiel one and seven. And their feet were straight feet. And the sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot, and they sparkled like the color of burnished brass. Man, those uh, uh, interpreters or whatever they're called that that uh, rewrote this, they did a great job on writing this. Because if you were to just look at it, you uh, like you know, like from the, from the Hebrew, you have to it'll be real it's real hard to put it together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they were really powerful. Uh, Transcribers or uh, who who wrote the scriptures and then interpreted it. So Ezekiel one seven. So now I'm going to write say it in the Hebrew. Yakazak wa Allah akad wa shabai wa regal wa regal yano regal yashara wa kataza regal yano. Kaka, regal, aigal, wana, tazataza, yom. Ka ayon, nakashaf, kwalao. Let me say it one more time. Yakaza kwaala, akad, wa shabai. 
wa ragaliyahum ragal yashara wa kataza ragaliyahum kakat ragal agal wa natazatazayum kayyun nakashat kwala that's how you say it in the Hebrew. All right, that's how you say that in the Hebrew. Okay. All right. So that's the Hebrew right there. Let me see if I can pull up some of the uh, Hebrew Bible to make on my brain. And we'll try to maybe pick another sentence out of the Bible to do in the to do in the Hebrew. I need some water. Hold on a second. Okay, let's get the Hebrew Bible. Some share screen. If you want to get to a Hebrew Bible, you type in Hebrew Bible and go down. Let me see. Uh -huh. Go down to about the like seventh or eighth one right here. It says. Mekon Mamre. Now you've got the Hebrew to English Bible. So let's go to Ezekiel 1 and 7 and compare our notes or compare what we just went over. Ezekiel chapter 1. Let's go down to verse 7. Okay. Ezekiel 1 and 7. This is why. It's like why. Ka. Gal. Ya. Hum. Why ka gal ya hum. Why looks like a why regal ya hum. So we, it don't have what let's get Ezekiel first because we did Yakazakwa'ala for Ezekiel. So Ya Ka. Oh, I got it as a ka, but it's actually a ka. Ya ka zakwa'ala. Let me change my notes on that. Like that. So you got a ka and a ka. Let's show you how to, what's the difference on that. Yeah. All right. Let's just teach this lesson real quick so we don't get this mixed up. So you got the word Ezekiel. To spell Ezekiel, it's Ya. This is what I put Ya Ka. Ya Ka. Zak. Kwa Ala. Ya Ka Zak Kwa Ala. 
That's what I had earlier. But the, pro the problem is this right here. If you can notice, when you read that in the Hebrew on the other side of the screen, it's a, that's a Yah. First, you read it from right to left. So that little thing is a Yah. The next word actually is a Kha. Kha is this. This is a Kha. It's different from a Ka. All right? You got Ka and you got Kha. It's two different, two different things. Two different things. Ezekiel's name is not Yaka Zakwa'ala, it's Yaka Zakwa'ala. So let's fix it. I don't want to teach you the wrong thing. Alright, but it's a lot of different, a lot of words are interchangeable like that. Um, or not the way they sound, you can't you can't tell by the sound of the word or the way it's written, you know. You only can tell by the way it's written. So the actual way to write Ezekiel is like this. Ya Ha Za Yaka Yaka Za Kwa Awa. Yaka Za Kwa Awa. Yaka. There are probably two days. Yaka Za Kwa Awa. Za Kwa Awa. I don't check it's two A's, more than likely it's two A's. Yaka za kwa ala. That's a long name. Yaka za kwa ala. Alright? Ezekiel. Yaka za kwa ala. Ezekiel. Okay, just to clear that up, because we wrote it. Slight, just like one letter off when we wrote it earlier. So you, you still pronounce it, you don't even pronounce it the same, it's different now. Instead of ya ka zakwa'ala, it's ya kwa kwa zakwa'ala. That's a big difference. Okay. So, ya ka zakwa'ala. Alright, that's Ezekiel. Uh, Akkad, which is chapter one. Akkad is one. Wa Shabai. Shabai is seven. So we'll go down to seven. Ezekiel one is seven. Alright. So the first word is what we had down, which was Ra Wa Regalia. Wa is and Regalia. His feet and hum is their feet, or there. While regalia and their feet, regal feet. So that was right. And their feet, feet were straight. All right, this is straight. Yasha Ra'a. That's like Yash Yasha Rash. Make sure I get that. Back to where I was at. Yashara. It's like Yashara. So that's straight. Yashara right here is straight. That's how you say straight. So as you notice, there, this word, there's no Hebrew for this word. It's implied. That is past tense through other indicators, but not using a word. Word. There's no word for word. Okay, so they so they had to add that to make it English. Alright. Yeah, that's a ra. Wa ka. Wakata, Wakataza, it's like, this is Wakataza, what we had before, Wakataza. Then we got this word again, Regalion, and their feet, or their feet. Since this is Regalion, 
of here is Wa Regalia. Wa Regalia. Here is just Gaulia. So there's no and. And is Wa. All right. Kaka. We had that down. Their feet. Like that means like like the soul. Or gal, which is feet. I gal, which is bull calf. We went over earlier. Bull calf. And they sparkled. Wa na taza tazaya. Wa na taza tazaya. That's and they sparkled. Wa na taza tazaya. Na taza tazaya. Is that Okay. I'm not to that All right. Now here is, it says like the color. Ka ai ya. Ka ai We had that right. That's like color. This ka in front of the word means like. Ayan means color. Kayan, like color. So like the color. So in Hebrew it's just like color. In English it's like the color. Right. Of, but there's no of, this is na ha sha. So in Hebrew it's just like color. Brass. In English, is like the color of brass. Like the color of. In Hebrew, it's just like color brass. And then here is burnished, which is qualal. Burnished brass. Okay. Burnished brass. So their cut. So their feet were like straight feet, like the color. Of burnished brass. So in Hebrew, if you find it out, there is no, there's not the in certain places, there's not of in certain places, and there is no word, no word for word. All right. With that said, we're gonna close up the Hebrew. It's a great class. Getting a little late. You gotta get ready for Kentucky Eight Podcast, the World Visual Aid World News Podcast. So let me get the uh, announcements going. ISUBK security announcements. We are the ISUBK, started out of 1 West, 125th Street, home in New York. Rule for new brother and sister. When a new brother or sister comes into the school, they are off limits for six months. They are to be saluted only. They are here to shed themselves of the world. If they need transportation, the teacher will arrange it. After six months, if a brother or sister has an interest in a particular person, he or she must get permission from the head to speak to a brother or sister. There is another six months in which the brother and sister will court each other. After this six month period, the brother and sister will get permission from the head to marry. Tithes, which is a commandment, Numbers chapter 18 through 21, Malachi chapter 3, verse 8 through 10, means tenth in the Hebrew, Ma'ashra. 10% of every penny of any increase the Lord gives you. Give to treasury department or teacher. Priest fund, free will offering for priests, not mandatory, whatsoever amount you would like. Upcoming holy convocations, uh, go to the website, ashk.com for more information. Get ready for the uh, Midwest cookout. That's going to be uh, July, the end of July. Remind Dr. Mark check the bulletin board in the hallway. If anyone wants to be a trooper in the school, to start wearing all black boots, shirt, pant, headband, and scarf. With that, I'm Macho, which means stand. 
Upadya Hakuda, which means rise and face the east. We're going to do the Lord's Prayer in the Hebrew. Abanawa, Shabashamayam, Kodash, Haya, Shoka, Yahawa, Malakutka, Tabaa, Ratazaka, Haya, Aisha, Ba Ratza, Kowa, Haya, Mashamaya, Natama Nawa, Lakam, Kawi, Yabam, Masalak Nawa, Kabubati Nawa, Kasalak Nawa, Kabubati Nawa, Bala A, Kabiya Nawa, Banasaya One, Abo, Hawashaya Nawa, Maya, and Bride, Kaya, Laka, Amalakwa, Tama Allah, Wa Tapara, Tama Lumi Mama. In the English, our Father will turn in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not to the kingdom and the power and glory forever. So be it. The Hakat, prayer for the power in the Hebrew. Hallowed by Hashem Hawashah, of Kashah, Nathalanawa, Hakat, Hakat, Larpa'ah, Kawakala, Waka Marawa, Hakat, Latahar, Hamatazariah, Hakat. La Hakuim, Hamatim, Hakat, Arakawa, the Tama Allah, the Garashan, Bashim Yahushai, the Wadama. In the English, Yahweh, in the name of Yahushai, please give us the power, the power to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease, the power to cleanse the lepers, the power to raise the dead, the power against unclean spirits, to cast them out in the name of Yahushai. Thank you, so be it. Blessings in the Hebrew. Rakta Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, only Yaka Allah, why Allah Hay, Mataza Yah, Allah Wap Yahana, Ha Allah Wap Yu, Ha Serunyan, Ha Kotazayanian, Ha Kayolian, Wah Kwatian, Yahweh, by Shimmy Hawa Shai, Wala Hunt. In the English, bless you Yahweh, any Hawa Shai, and Michael, any angels. Commander Jimmy Yahana, the generals, the captains, the officers, the troopers, and the sisters. Yahweh, in the name of Yahweh Shai, Thank you, so be it. The anointing prayer in the Hebrew. Yabaraka Yahweh, Waya Shamaraka, Yaari Yahweh, Fanyawa, Aliaka, Waya Kanka, Yasha Ah Yahweh, Fanyawa, Aliaka, Waya Shamlaka, Shalom, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Barak, Rapa, Hagun, Hagun, all destroyed of Israel. Bashim Yahweh Shai, Tawada Allah. In the English, Yahweh bless thee and keep thee, Yahweh make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. Yahweh lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai, bless, heal, shield, protect. The curses in the Hebrew, I mean in English. Blessed are you, Yahweh, King of heaven and earth and all things living. Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai, listen to us now, right now. Send evils and curses and punishment and destruction to the heathen that speak against us, thy prophets, the teachers, the princes, the priests. The Israelite brothers and the school send evils and curses and punishment and destruction to the heathen and shake loose the treasure of the rich of Israel that refuse to give to the school. Force their riches to enter into thy sanctuary. Send evils and curses and punishment and destruction to the Edomites and the nations and their drug dealers, the court system, the prison system, Planned Parenthood, all the governments of our enemies, Amalek synagogues and armies, Roman Catholic Church, the Pope, Islam, Christianity, Egyptology, Militia, Ku Klux Klan, Aryan Nation, Skinheads, Pasukomatasi, the Gay Movement, the Lesbian Movement, Spies, Workers of Witchcraft, NASA Space Programs, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Wall Street, Open Up the Internet, and the Airways, the Cable Access Channels, and the Radio Channels. Convict the spirit of any of thy people that seek to stop us, and bring swift destruction to all the heathen. That stand in the way or try to stop us from broadcasting your words throughout the planet Earth. Let loose all the plagues, cause them to go to and fro through the earth and consume them. Let the plagues shake the house of the thief and the murderer. Let Yahweh Shai, Michael, and Gabriel come down with the flying saucers and punish all the heathens that come up against us. As we speak that word, cause it to be known by all that it is the angels that have done it. Cause it to be spread through the media throughout the whole world. Cause them to shake at thy coming. In the name of Yahweh Shai, thank you always, so be it. So, we're going to give a cursory look. Men of Israel, Mount of Shabbat, and Majin, the Rock, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, Barak Thumb, Yahweh Shai, we're going to give a cursory look to the sisters. Men of Israel, Mount of Shabbat, and Majin, the Rock, Yahweh Shai, 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 Make class, Israel. <laughs>